Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, today, we're going to be reviewing a tool called perplexity.ai. So perplexity is another competitor to ChatGPT, Google Bard, Microsoft Bing. <clears throat> Essentially, it's just another AI search engine. Um, but in particular, I really like this one of just like how it's set up. So real quick, we'll just go through the rundown of like how it's set up. So here, this is just your homepage, and this is where you could dive in. So you could just see, ask anything. This is where you're gonna go and detail out your question or whatever you're trying to research for. Or you can isolate and focus in on academia, writing, Wolfram Alpha for all of you computational nerds. <clears throat> you can go to YouTube. I haven't tried this section, or you could search Reddit. So you can really just kind of narrow in on a particular platform. Um, over here in the Discover, this is just gonna kind of be like your general news feed. And you can go through here and kind of like expand on all of these, you know, what caused Northern Lights, how uh, Morocco earthquake, 2023, etc. This library, this is new to me. No, actually, this element is a little bit new to me. Um, so it just looks like that, you know, this is everything that I've searched for in the past. And then you can organize your threads or collaborate with others. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then your profile, this is similar to ChatGPT profile, I haven't filled it in, but you can fill in a little bit of about yourself and get more of a customized approach to this. So let's just try to go and do some research using this tool. So <clears throat> I live here in California, electric cars are all the rage over here, particularly Tesla Model Ys. So Let's kind of do a deep dive in and just try to see what a Tesla Model Y would cost in relevance to my Kia K5. So let's say, Tesla, how much would it cost in electricity to charge a Tesla Model Y? 1500 miles. This is a lot of miles per month. Um, how much would it cost in electricity to charge? Electricity per month to charge a Tesla Model Y 1500 miles at your home in the San Francisco Bay Area. So this is key because everybody's electricity rate is different. We have pg and &E out here, which is quite high. Let's see. Okay, so you can see on the quick search, it actually took all of these sources, condensed, read them all, condensed it all, and then to charge, blah, 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 it would cost around $45. However, the cost can vary, blah, 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 average cost per kilowatt hour. Okay. <clears throat> I drive a Kia K5. How much would it cost to drive the same? Compare it against the Tesla. Let's see what we got. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so gas is actually more expensive by I me. Mean, it's like, <clears throat> it actually just reached past $5. Um, blah, 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 cost about one seventy five to drive that, which is significantly more expensive. Okay, so you can just see, and then right here, it'll just give you some follow-up questions, just in case you're looking for more. This is actually super useful, because sometimes it thinks of things that I have not even thought of. So what is the maintenance cost difference between here and here? Okay, so it gives you a general breakdown. But we haven't talked about one element to this, which is, you see down here it says Copilot. So Copilot actually does a little bit deeper of a dive. Then let's ask the same question, but let's turn Copilot on. As you see, this question right here, it had a pretty short response. You know, you had about one, two, three, four, five, six sources. Let's ask that same question down here on Copilot. Let's see what happens. Okay, so sources, 
there's eight sources. We got the summary. Even though we already have our answer, let's see if it's different. No, you know what? It's actually kind of the same. To be quite honest, I don't, you know, a lot of this is actually, the responses are already pretty good. So usually whenever I can't find the answer, I'll try to turn Copilot on. Sometimes it gets better answers, but sometimes I just get impatient and I just go search around other methods or I just take a different angle. Okay, cool. Well, that's it for Perplexity, Perplexity AI. And we'll be back later on with another detailed breakdown of the next tool. Peace.